Hey there folks, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun here and I am out in the Wyoming mountains out in the wilderness. And today we're gonna talk about tinder and fire starting. So what do I have in my pack right here? Let's take a look. All right, in my pack, I have a brand new, this is the four-in-one multifunction fire starter, knife, glass breaker, emergency whistle from Ready Man. So we're gonna use that today. I've got a tin of pre-made fire starting tinder. This one's also from Ready Man. Now I have uh, also prepared some standard dryer lint and some dryer lint that is infused with Vaseline. We're gonna drop sparks on those and see how they do. And then I also have a couple of tampons, common tampons, and we'll see how those do as tinder. Now, when it comes to fire starting, there's certain things you need to know, certain terms you need to acquaint yourself with. Number one, tinder. Tinder is what catches the sparks. That is your very, very dry, fibrous material, like your dryer lint or what have you. So you have tinder. Then next you have kindling. Now kindling should start about the size of a pencil and go up from there. So you go pencil, finger, uh, there in, thereabouts for kindling. And then I have my small firewood that's already split and ready to go that's just about the size of a wrist. So when you're starting a fire, you wanna start with tinder first. That is the, the very, very dry fibrous material that catches the sparks. Then you go to kindling, and from the kindling, you're gonna move from pencil size to finger size to wrist size. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move over my little campfire area here that I've already prepared, and we're gonna drop some sparks into some tinder. Okay, I've got the Ready Man Tinder right here. And I also have the little Ready Man emergency tool. We'll see if we can catch some sparks. All right, there we go. It took a little bit, but we used the, the little Ready Man emergency tool and we used that, the Tinder, and we caught it. And now I'm not gonna go ahead and start a big fire because we're gonna try some of the others. All right, now we've got some dryer lint right here. Just standard dryer lint, fresh out of the dryer, put into a sandwich bag. So let's see if we can catch some sparks with it. There we go. Dryer lint and sparks. All right, this next trick is something I haven't tried yet. It's dryer lint with some Vaseline in it. A friend of mine told me that he said, you gotta, you gotta do that. And I said, all right, well, I'll give it a try. So here we go. All right, now we're going. Dryer lint with some some Vaseline in it. And of course, if I wanted to get the fire going before it got too far down, I'd go ahead and toss my, go ahead and toss my uh, kindling in there. Okay, now let's go ahead and use a common everyday tampon and see if we can start a fire with it. All right. All right, folks, there you go. We made a bunch of little tiny fires using some store-bought tinder from Ready Man. We had some dryer lint, some dryer lint that was infused with Vaseline, and even a common tampon using our knife and our ferrocium sparking rod. If you guys are gonna go hiking or backpacking, camping, hunting, whatever, I would highly suggest 
that you have some dry tinder and a sparking rod, a ferrocium rod in your pack. They don't weigh that much, and in an emergency, or even in a comfort situation, they can come in extremely handy. I'm Paul Markle with Student of the Gun. Let's be careful out there. <laughs>